I was 19 when I realized that all human emotions are evolved to benefit the survival of the species. My brain causes hunger, a physical pain in my stomach, when it detects that I need to eat. It causes sleepiness when it detects I need rest. These emotions encourage me to act in a certain way. Likewise, my brain causes me to feel horny, aroused at the sight of a woman's body, and this, of course, is to encourage me to propagate the species to design the next generation of humans. However, it is sexual jealousy that interests me the most. It seems to me to be the strangest, most unforgettable kind of suffering. The human brain causes one to suffer this at the thought of one's mate being with someone else, which is to discourage one's mate from copulating with other people. And here's the real fucked up part. All humans are wired to experience these emotions. This is my life as a bipedal primate. I am art, and I am a jealous person. Uh, can I get a PBR? Yeah. Hey, Art! Hey, Darren. Hey, man, what's going on? How's it going? Good. How's that new, uh, magical jealousy pill you got going on? Well, I'm, I'm still in the research and development phase. Thanks for asking. <laughs> This is a crazy motherfucker right here. I mean, he's uh, trying to make money inventing this pill to cure jealousy. Right, Art? Like if your girlfriend is fucking your brother and your roommate and your best friend, you just pop a couple and voila. <laughs> so when can I get this shit, man? How close are you? Well, um, it's still the still closest thing I found. <laughs> <laughs> A few years ago, I became interested in bonobos, our closest relative in the animal kingdom, along with chimpanzees. Bonobos don't have monogamous relationships like us, though. They are matriarchal and remarkably non-aggressive. They all fuck each other all the time, but they never seem to get jealous. It is my theory that if I can identify the neurotransmitter responsible for the passivity of bonobos using brain imaging technology, I could possibly extract said neurotransmitter and sell it in pill form. This, I think, I hope, will reduce negative feelings of jealousy and aggression in the humans who take it. This is my proposal, and now all I need is some research and development capital. Art. Oh, hey, Georgie. How are you? I'm fine. What are you working on? Oh, it's just a grant proposal. Grant proposal for what? Um, for my research, um, for the National Institute of Health. Well, what are you researching? Um, just the possible utility of the bonobo's neurotransmitter to uh, reduce the intensity of certain um, human psychological experiences. Cool. Um, hey, Art, have you um, met Charlie? No. Tell him nice to meet him, though. <laughs> You're such a dick, Art. 
What? What I say? Well, you want to hang out and watch a movie sometime? I've always been a jealous person. I was even jealous of my first girlfriend in fifth grade when she would talk to other boys in the playground. In my defense though, she was a huge skank. Before attempting to create my own solution to this problem, I tried several alternative remedies. First, I bought a self-help audiobook on the subject. Allow yourself to relax. Breathe deeply. Now prepare your conscious mind to deconstruct your negative feelings of jealousy and low self-worth. You are falling, falling down into the pit of your stomach where jealousy hits us the hardest. Now focus on that physical pain of jealousy and prepare to disband it with powerful affirmations of high self-worth and positive energy. Are you ready? One, two... Then I tried a life coach. 
I should have seen this guy was bullshit when I found out he worked from home. Art. Just give me a moment. Look over your form. You suffer from jealousy, Art. Yeah. I'm sorry. Must be very painful. It can be. Art, you're safe here. Okay. It's your sanctuary. Okay. Relax. Let this be the center of your universe while you're here. Focus and meditate here. Breathe. You're safe. And when you're ready, paint for me a picture of what you see in your mind when a bout of jealousy comes on. Well, usually what I see is uh, my ex-girlfriend, Georgie. Ex-girlfriend, Georgie, okay. And her boyfriend. And her boyfriend, okay. And they're in her bedroom. And they're in her bedroom. Okay, okay. naked. Naked. Yeah. Excellent. Go, go on. And, and he's doing her. He's doing her? Yeah. And doing her? Doing her. And fucking her. Fucking her. Yeah. And really, I just want her to want to, to fuck me. Art, I want her to want to fuck you too, man. All right? Okay. okay. Now, let's take that pain and funnel it. Okay. Funnel it into a productive, proactive, productive. Positive, positive future for you. Okay. Uh, I just don't understand though. I mean, he's not special. Not, I mean, not even more special than me. Oh, hell no, he's not more special than you. Fuck no. When you say that. Fuck no. Fuck no. He is not Fuck more no. special. He is not more special than me. than me. No, he is not fucking more special than me. He's not more special than no. me. But he's getting the pussy. Yeah, he is getting the pussy. And you're not. And I'm not. Uh, remember, Art. Yeah. Positive. Positive. Proactive. Proactive. Productive. Pussy. Productive. Productive. Right. If I leave now, do I still have to pay the full price? Absolutely, Art. Fuck it. Well, just bill me. Art, I think we made a great breakthrough here today. Yeah, if, if you think so. Uh, okay, I'll bill you. not going to take this personally. I did my best. Fuck. Lastly, I tried something from the Far East, an herbal remedy. Basil flakes taken orally twice a day and any time an episode of jealousy was coming on. But that didn't work either. Nothing worked. I decided that I would have to make something that does. Hi, I'm Art. Hi, Art. What's your name? Iris. Iris? That's a pretty name. Like flowers? 
Yeah, they're all right. I'm not crazy about them or anything. Well, my my favorite flower is the hammerhead orchid. You ever heard of it? Yeah, I wrote my dissertation on the hammerhead orchid. Well, it's a European orchid that looks like a female wasp. And then male wasps pollinate them as a result of trying to copulate with them. Huh. No shit. And that means for millions and millions of years, the hammerhead, the ancestors of the hammerhead orchid were more successful at pollinating the other nearby plants because male wasps fancied them. And slowly, over time, evolution sculpted them to look even more like female wasps. They even have fur like the abdomen of a female wasp, and they let off a perfume that mimics the pheromones of a female wasp. Isn't that amazing? I'd say it proves God's hand in their design, not evolution. Hey, Guy. Well, nice talking to you. Hey, what's up, girl? Maybe we can do it again. What took you so long? Are you having relationship problems? Are you a jealous person? Do you suffer from thoughts of purely hypothetical situations regarding your partner and someone else? Then Bonobinex is for you! One Bonobinex pill immediately reduces feelings of jealousy by up to 95% in most people who take it. Whether your jealousy derives from perceived threats, or if your partner is actually fucking someone else, Bonobinex can help! Bonobinex reduces jealous feelings either way! If you're pregnant, pre-adolescent, or over the age of 55, ask your doctor if Bonobinex is right for you. Some studies have found that Bonobinex causes achy joints, cotton mouth, memory loss, psychotic episodes, and blurred vision. Do not take more than two Bonobinex pills in 24 hours. If side effects persist for 72 hours or more, consult your doctor immediately. Son of a fucking bitch, you mother ass fucking assholes! God fucking damn it! Why did you have to fucking go and do that? You damn fucking motherfucking cock face! Son of a bitch! God damn it! What am I going to do? I'm going to kill someone, you motherfuckers! God fucking damn it! God damn it, you assholes! How are ya? So, did you finally figure out your jealousy pill? No, I didn't. When the hell is it gonna be out on the shelf? I mean, it already is, just not my pill. Oh, what do you mean? Somebody else had your idea? Yeah. Oh, hell! You know, um, you'll be alright though, because you. You've always come up with new things, man. You'll come up with something else, man. You'll be all right. I don't know. I feel like I learned a lot of shit about bonobos for no reason. But I feel like we can learn from you know? What the fuck is a bon... What you... Bon... Bonobo. What the fuck is that? Well, it's like a chimp, except they have sex to solve all their problems. And just eat and lounge around the jungle all day. Seems pretty happy, man. Oh, really? Well, why don't you go fucking live in the jungle, nature boy? You stinky hippie. I don't know. Maybe. No,